Welcome back to Just Scribble for an unboxing and swatching of Van Diemen's newest fountain pen ink collection, Birds of a Feather. So I'm going to take everything out of the box real quick and then we are going to check out what I got. So as always, Van Diemen's does an amazing job of wrapping their fountain pen inks when they ship them to you. They wrap them in this protective paper and they tie it with a little bow. And then inside that, they wrap the bottles in tissue paper as well that's branded with their logo. So I'm going to get all this unwrapped and we will check out the bottles that I ordered. All right, so here's my order. I ordered some bottled inks and actually some of these are for my sister. This one is actually from their Tasmania collection. I've actually shared this on a different unboxing. This is their Snowy Mountain Sunset. It is so pretty and she wanted a bottle of it. So I added that to my order. And then a couple of these are actually for her as well. Although I honestly can't remember which of these inks are for her and which of them are for me. So I will have to go through them with her and split them up. They also sent me samples of other inks in this collection so that I could share them with you guys as well. Now, I was really excited when they announced this collection for a couple of reasons. One was actually a very sentimental reason. So this collection is Birds of a Feather and it launched on the anniversary of my mother-in-law's passing and she was a huge fan of birds, especially peacocks, which is one of the birds that this collection is based off of. So this collection is based off of six beautiful birds and then each bird has multiple inks made off of it based on different parts of that bird. So for example, the European honeybee eater, there's the wing, there's the nape, and there's the breast. So each of these colors is based off of the European honeybee eater based on the colors of those different parts of the bird, which I think is just a really unique way to come up with a fountain pen ink collection. So this collection spoke to me because it really reminded me of my mother-in-law who we miss dearly. It's gorgeous. The colors are just so, so pretty. And I just thought it was a really unique way to come up with an ink collection. I really liked the concept of taking these six specific birds and then the pieces of those birds or the parts of those birds and the colors of those birds came in. I just thought it was really, really cool. So I was really excited for this collection. So I placed an order for full bottles of the inks that spoke the most to me or to my sister, because like I said, some of these are hers. And then they sent me samples of some others so that I can share this collection with you. So what I'm going to do real quick is find my book. This is my swatch book. This is what I do most of my swatches in. This is a Cosmo Air Light notebook. And this is where I'm going to do my swatching. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put labels of the inks that I have to swatch with you guys. And then we are going to swatch these out and check out these colors. All right, so I have written out everything here. So what I did was I just wrote out all six birds and all of the inks for each bird. So like for the hummingbird, there's a face and a wing. For the blue jay, there's a crown, a tail, and a wing. I went ahead and wrote out all of them because I think with the bottles that I ordered and the samples that they provided to me, I'll have everything in the collection. So I went ahead and wrote them all out. We'll see as we go through it and start swatching. I do have my little shirt here. This was my kiddos when he was a toddler. I use this for wiping off my pens when I fill them, and my automatic pen when I swatch. This is an automatic pen. This is what I use to swatch with. So I'll be using that. I have some water to rinse the nib of my automatic pen. Like I said, this is Cosmo Air Light paper. So I'm gonna actually gonna start with the samples that they sent, and then we'll swatch out the bottles that I ordered. I'm actually not a fan of birds. I'm allergic to birds, so I'm not really a big fan of birds, but I'm always mesmerized by birds. Like when you watch the National Geographic specials and things, I love watching them about birds. I think they are just so pretty and so unique. They just have fun rituals, the way they dance, the way they set up their homes, all of those things I think are super, super special. So I really think this is a fun collection. So the first one that we have is mandarin duck and this is the nape let me scoot this up so i can make sure that i'm on the screen for you i just think birds are really really pretty and they remind me of my mother-in-law which makes this extra special that is so pretty 
I actually have a couple new fountain pens to share with you guys. And I'm hoping that some of these inks will match those pens so that we can fill them up and use these in pens. Next, I have Mandarin Duck. This is the wing. I've shared a few different unboxings and collections from Van Diemen's inks. I really like their fountain pen inks. And Belinda and Peter are just so nice. I love the story behind all of their inks. They have such a beautiful collection of colors in their inks too. Just think that they're really, really nice. So next we are going, oops. So next we're gonna do these. This is Elegant Peacock. This is the neck. This is a gorgeous blue. you guys use Van Diemen's inks? Have you ordered from them before? They actually ship really, really fast, even though they're coming from the other side of the world. They get to me pretty fast, which is awesome. There are some retailers in the States that carry them as well. One of my favorite fountain pen shops, a small local shop in Arkansas, Vanessa, they actually carry some of their inks as well. This is the Elegant Peacock. This is the Eye. bubble on top there. Wow. It's like a purpley blue. I guess more purple than blue, but definitely has blue tints to it. Next we have the Blue Jay Wing. It was really hard to pick colors out of this collection because the swatches they shared on Instagram and on their website, they were so pretty. So I went with colors that are more unique, colors that I don't have as many of in my fountain pen collection, or colors just that just really spoke to me. Next we have Blue Jay Tail. There are a lot of blues in this collection. Blues aren't necessarily my favorite fountain pen color. I use blue pen all the time at work. We have to. And so because of that, I kind of get tired of blue, but they are so unique and so pretty. I'm excited to have new fun blues to use at work. Now I realized that the eye of the peacock is actually a shimmer ink. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. So I'm going to kind of mix it up a little bit and I'm going to add an extra little swatch at the bottom just to make sure that we picked up just to make sure that I picked up some of that shimmer. Next we have Anna's Hummingbird and this is the wing and this one has some gorgeous shimmer in it. So we're going to kind of mix that up. When I fill a bottle, a bottle, when I fill a pen with fountain pen ink, I never shake the bottle or shake the sample because it can put air bubbles in your pens. But when I'm doing it for just swatching with my automatic pen, I'm okay with shaking it up just for ease and speed, especially when I'm doing a video. That is so pretty. But if I was filling up my pen, I would not shake it. I would just kind of roll it in my hand to kind of disperse the shimmer in there before filling up my pen. Next we have the Laughing Kookaburra and this is the tail. That is such a rich color. You guys probably know from some of my fountain pen ink videos that I really love brown fountain pen ink and the browns in this collection are so pretty. And then I have the Laughing Kookaburra Wing, which is a beautiful blue color, which I think might match a new pen that I got. I think it's going to be perfect in that pen. So we'll probably be using this wing 
in an upcoming video to fill a pen. It's going to be close whether the tail of the blue jay or the wing of the kookaburra, which one matches better, or one of these ones that I have bottles of. But I think that that wing is going to be perfect in it. So next I'm going to start filling them with the bottles that I bought in the spaces and just going in order of the birds. So we're going to start with Anna's hummingbird and we're going to do the face. Like always, there's their logo on the top of the bottle and then the bottles always have pretty pictures on them. These are the feathers of the bird and so you'll see both colors of this particular bird. So the face is this color and then the wing is the green that we swatched out that has the beautiful shimmer. This one does not have any shimmer and the swatch color here is going to be the swatch color of the ink. This actually would have been a really pretty set to use for Christmas. I actually got these before the Christmas holiday, but I've been too busy to open them up. I put them under the tree, like a little present to myself. I was very excited to get into these inks. Next we have a Blue Jay Crown. And once again, you have colors of this bird's ink on the bottle. So you'll see the colors there. Kind of going around the box. And the color here is the color of the ink. This blue is so pretty. It's just super unique and soft. I really like it. Next we have the peacock train. So there you can see different colors of the peacock. And this green, I mean, look at it. So pretty. And this one has shimmer. So I'm gonna mix this up. I'm just gonna shake it since I'm swatching and not filling a pen. So that way we can get lots of shimmer in our swatch sample. Swatching, I can see the shimmer just moving around in there. So, so pretty. I thought this was just a lovely green color. It's hard to find a really good green fountain inks, I find. And I think this one is so pretty. Oh, I missed a, sw <laughs> I missed a sample. So this is the last sample. It was tucked back behind there. So this is the European Honey Bee Eater, and this is the Chin. And I actually have all three other colors are in the bottles that I bought. I almost bought a bottle of this because I think it's so pretty. I think it would be a really pretty highlighter color, but I didn't know if I needed a full bottle of it. But now that I've got it in the sample, I may have changed my mind. I may have to put it on my list to order next time. All right, so next is the Honey Bee Eater Breast. Look at the pretty colors of this bird. So pretty. And there's the swatch of the color. A lovely teal color. And then next is the nape. And it's gonna be kind of this color here. These are drying and they're so pretty. There's some sheening on some and some shading because know that I'm a sucker for shading. I got a little dollop of the breast in the chin swatch. It's really pretty actually together. I mean, look at these colors together, this honey bee eater. This bird is so pretty. It's such a unique color combo. I am all for it. 
Next we have the wing of the Honey Bee Eater. Another lovely green color. Next we have the laughing, no, wrong box. <laughs> the laughing kookaburra crest. And this ink is the color that I automatically knew that I wanted. It's so unique. It's like brown and gray and oh, so pretty. Just wait till it dries. It's such a funky, awesome color. I knew the minute that they shared it, I was going to have to get it. So you can see on the side of the box, the sort of blue of the wing there, and then this sort of fun brown color over there. So, so pretty. And there's the little kookaburra. And then last, but definitely not least, we have the breast of the mandarin duck. So this one has shimmer, although it's a little hard to see. There you can see it, I think, or I hope. I'm going to shake this one up. Scoot all these samples out of the way. There we have the swatches of the entire Birds of a Feather collection from Van Diemen's Ink. So I'm going to lift this up and show it to you right now, but they are still wet. So I'm gonna let them dry as well. And then I'm gonna show you after they dry because the shading and all of that pops up after they've dried. But I did want to kind of show you now also all of the different colors so you guys could check them out up close and personal. They are just gorgeous. Look at that. It's such a fun collection with such a gorgeous color palette. It is very blue heavy because a lot of birds do have blue in them, but they are unique and different. I mean, look at the Blue Jay's crown and the Kookaburra's wing. These blues are awesome. If you use blue professionally or in your journaling, these would be wonderful blues to add to your collection just to have something that was a little bit different and a little bit funky, but still blue. And then there's a lot of other really fun colors as well. And my love browns. There's some beautiful browns represented in this collection as well. We're going to let these dry and then I'm going to come back and share the dried swatches with you guys so you can check them out one last time. Okay, so most of the inks are dry. There's a little bit of wet spots, but I'm impatient and I don't want to wait. So I'm going to just lift this up and let you check it out. We have some green sheen on that hummingbird face. And then the wing of the hummingbird has amazing shimmer. And we have some beautiful shading on the blue jay crown. We have some beautiful magenta sheen on that tail and a little bit of sheen on the wing, not quite as dramatic as the tail. And the elegant peacock neck is this beautiful blue color with a little bit of sheening on there too. And then the eye is this sort of purple blue color. It's, it's kind of a royal blue. Then it has a sort of sheen of the colors of a peacock's tail that you normally see in the eye on the tail. It has a little shimmer, but it's more of a sheen than a shimmer. It is a peacock in a bottle. I mean, that's what that really reminds me of. Peacock in a bottle. I hope that's coming through on the screen. And then we have the train, which has the beautiful shimmer in it and a little bit of shading. Then we have the honeybee eater. That breast is 
gorgeous. That is such a pretty color. And the chin, I love this color. I'm definitely gonna have to get some in a future order. The nape and the wing are beautiful as well. They would be lovely colors for the holidays actually, to do like your holiday greeting cards in. So pretty. The Kookaburra Crest is my favorite of this entire collection. I just really love this color. It's gray, but brown, but a little bit purple. It has shading. I just think it is the most unique, most beautiful color. I think it will be a great color for journaling. And then the tail has some tonal sheen. So there's some sheen in there, but it's brown on brown. It's so pretty. And then the wing I think is going to be the perfect match for a pen that I'm going to share with you guys in an upcoming video. And then we have the Mandarin duck breast, which has this amazing sheen on it. I mean, it is so pretty. It's a purplish color with this sort of bronzy sheen. And then you have the nape that has a little bit of sheen on it in a sort of red color. And then you have, let me get it closer. And then we have the wing, which is a redder brown. So this has a lot more red tone in it, whereas this tail of the kookaburra is really dark chocolate brown, which I absolutely love. And the wing has a little bit of sheen in the puddled areas too, but it's tonal just like that tail. So, so pretty. Of course, how much sheen you get and how much shimmer you get from these inks is going to depend on the pen that you use. So the wetter the pen, the more sheen and the more shimmer that you're going to get. I tend to put shimmer inks only in my Twisby Ecos. I rarely put them in other pens because Twisby Ecos, especially a stub nib or a broad nib, just handle shimmer inks really, really well. And I'm actually thinking I might be putting this one, the train from the Peacock, in a pen that I recently got. I think that this might be really perfect and pretty in the new Twisby Eco Jade. I think that the shimmer is perfect for it. It's kind of a special pen. It will remind me of my mother-in-law. So I think that I might end up putting this ink in that pen. So make sure you're subscribed so you see the video where I share that pen and you'll find out whether or not I use this ink or a different ink in that pen. But I just think this is such a beautiful collection. I think the colors are so pretty. I love the variety. I really love the theme of this collection and how they came up with the colors in it. I love that they tie most of their collections into nature and I just think that they do a wonderful job of curating beautiful fountain pen ink collections and this one is absolutely no exception. I'm really excited. So that is my unboxing and swatching of the Birds of a Feather Van Diemen's Fountain Pen Ink Collection. If you have any questions about any of the inks that I shared in this video, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos, including some upcoming fountain pen shares. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and don't forget to just scribble.